I chose education originally for logistic reasons. I went to school and got a business degree and had all these plans to go into sales and then I got married and then got pregnant during my senior year of college and realized teacher hours seemed like a really good idea. Um, and so I kind of landed here for logistic reasons and then stuck around because it just became my identity. I loved it from day one. Um, I was given some really good opportunities to see the parish and just fell in love with it. I'm South Terrebonne, I plan on going to Nichols. Uh, I'm signed to go play baseball over there, and I'm gonna go major in pre-athletic training, kinesiology. And then after I finish my four years there, I have another two and a half or so years, and I'll probably either go to UL or Southeastern and finish the real, like, athletic training. So Logan came in his freshman year with this unbound energy, um, unbound confidence. He rolled, he, I did not teach him for English one, but he sure came in my English one class, in my English two class on the regular to make sure I heard his voice. Uh, he just needed me to know he was around. And he threw himself into student council. He ran for class officer. He's been class president, I think all four years. No, just sophomore. Sophomore on. So he was just real involved from day one um, and was just always around and made sure everyone knew he was around and in a positive way. From the day one, I've had all my old coaches, they used to tell me like, you have to study in school, you have to like have above whatever GPA, or else you're not gonna be able to go continue playing baseball. So that just like really kept me in school. And then I guess like just once getting into high school, just I just wanted to be the best athlete and student combined. Like I just wanted, like it was just my competitive nature. So I taught him for English too, and that was actually when we were at Bourgeois. So that was an interesting year for everybody involved after the storm. And it was always, he very much became that, that year, one of my go-to people. Um, when I needed something done, I knew I could rely on him, but also just when I needed something, I knew he was there. Like he just, he balanced me out in a lot of ways. He could kind of call me out on like, hey, you need to take a breath. Uh, you know, he just was my go-to person in a lot of ways. And that stuck through, through now. Uh, we was back in the old building, and uh, I think I was going to, into Miss Galicio's class, and I had like all my good friends, like Jackson, Henry, and Austin, and all in that class. So I just like I just popped my head in at first, and then I see this an open desk. So I'm like, I just went and I sat in the very front row, like right in front of the board, and she starts teaching, and she's like, "You're not in here. What are you doing?" And then like ever since then, we just, it just it just turned into an everyday thing. I just went in there, sat in the desk. I think. Watching him play baseball was always one of my favorite things. I loved watching him play ball that sophomore year when they won the state championship. Uh, I went to the quarterfinals at South Lafourche, and he had a big hit to, I think, finish the game. I think that was like the game-winning hit, and I just lost it. It was like my own kid out there hitting that ball. I was so excited, and that whole season was just so fun. Um, and he had gotten an offer from Nichols to play. And it was just such a full circle, so proud, like just this unbelievable amount of pride in all that he accomplished. She was always just there, like always available. And then like even after the storm, she got me into like go actually becoming involved, like using, she says that I have a natural leadership ability. So she just like, she really got me into class president, student council, honor society. She just like made me become involved. And then after all the adversity, she was just always there, like just to talk to whenever I needed it. Coming out of high school, my answer 100% for a lot of reasons was always Angie Walsh. Um, she is somebody that I still think of. She, she brought an energy to our school that I strive for all the time. And when things got rough after COVID and the hurricane, I would often think like, okay, Somebody has to change the tide. Somebody's got to change the culture. We've got to bring back this energy, bring back the spirit. And she was the kind of person that could do that. And I always wanted to do that for this school, um, to bring that kind of positivity and acceptance. Uh, I also think often about Ms. Diana Perkins. She was an instructional coach at Ellender when I started teaching. My very first year teaching English, she was uh, an instructional coach there. 
and she was the epitome of mentors. She knew how to hold my hand, but let me have my independence. She was just so actively involved and she just taught me so much about being fair, being, um, being open to new ideas, learning how to research, learning how to apply new ideas. And I still think of her all the time because she just made me a teacher.